My name's Scott Simpson. I farm at Bloomsbury uh, in the O'Connell River uh, catchment area. I've been here for 20 years. I've probably been farming for 34 years originally at uh, Wagura. And uh, yeah, we moved up here uh, 20 years ago and started farming. This farm here is about 118 hectares and uh, we can irrigate all of it. The farms run by my brother and myself and we have a uh, another man that comes and helps us when it when it gets busy in the 90s was was real change we we probably went from burning cane to green cane we've gone from green cane to with with the green cane we've gone to center busting with fertilizer we've gone to grub control we've gone to gps we've gone to zonal traffic of sorts, uh, the, the environment has got a lot safer for us on the farm, but economically it's, it's just not uh, like it used to be when you know there was a lot more in it. The main challenge for us on the farm is to stay viable. Right? When we first looked at doing skip row, we, we didn't really realise what sort of an animal we were uh, uh, releasing. What we, what, what we tried to do is because we've been involved in harvesting all our life, John and I, we decided that we'd try and create every row, make every row a water furrow row. Because when we were harvesting cane, uh, the water furrow row could cut twice as much. You know, many times, not quite as twice as much, but it'd, it'd, it'd be uh, a, a lot more than the row beside it. And we thought, well, why is this? You know, is it because it's got more moisture available? Is it because there's more photosynthesis with the sun happening? Uh, so I said, well, look, this is not going to break us. Let's, uh, let's do a trial and try and make every uh, row a water furrow row. So, and that's how we came up with the configuration of skip row. Why did we go 1.9 metres? Well, the heaviest thing that we run on our paddock is a harvester. And if we, when the harvester arrived, we measured between the tracks centre to centre it was 1.9 we said hey we're going to farm 1.9 yeah. and and that's why we've come to that we've gone to dual row uh, to get plant population in, in those rows uh, and it's it's now going into six returns I, I believe it looks better now than it did at fourth returns but that's seasons we've had terrific weather we've harvested this with plant cane in 2009 it, uh, it averaged 101 tonne to the hectare at plant cane. That was half the fertiliser, half the grub control. We believe when we water it, it uh, there's, there's, I don't say there's twice the water available, but there's significantly more water available to the plant because the ground definitely stays wetter longer. Speed of the harvester is four kilometres an hour. We also believe that that's one of the reasons where we're getting a longer return. The, the, the crop that we compared this block with uh, has been since ploughed out and fallowed. So when you look at net return over 10 years, the, uh, the skip row will be in front of it. Hard to get your head around, I know, because uh, we're still trying to get our head around it. And, uh, but figures don't lie and you know what we'll be moving towards now is we'll be moving towards growing another crop in that skip row and harvesting it to to really get the skip row farming system over the line as far as financially per per hectare of ground and the water quality that comes off a farm that's fully covered with some form of crop has got to be better significantly better than a farm where you've got 20 percent out fallowed with nothing growing on it the, how do we encourage other farmers to, to move towards this? Well, when we first set out doing it, I said, I'm not going to tell people to do this, eh? because that's not my job. I, I'm, all I can do is show you what I have done, and you go away and make your own mind up, because that, everyone will go away. And, but at the very least, try some. Try your short rows on your farm, any paddocks that are difficult to harvest if they're difficult to water, you know, if it's marginal ground. But, but try a bit of it, eh? 
And uh, I, the question has been asked to me, if you're so confident at it, how come you haven't done your whole farm? Right, and it's a pretty fair question, eh? The, the reason that I haven't done my whole farm with it because if it goes wrong, if it's not right, I can't afford, uh, I can't afford that. You know, so I've got to do a bit at a time and with catalysts that's come along, they've helped me get the resources and, and uh, expertise that I've needed to, to, to put down proper figures that are correct and are checked uh, so that no one can question them, you know. And then everyone, at the end of the day, will make their own mind up. <laughs>